this weekend is rather special because people will be able to, all the galleries will stay open, people will be able to walk in, have a look around and listen to some very good talks. And no one has to pay anything, which is unlike uh, an art fair or something like that. This is a more of an art festival, let's call it. This is one of the great markets in the world. You know, with all the newcomers coming to our country, the French, 400,000, 400,000 Russians living now here, let's show them what we have. And if you like jewellery or pictures or furniture, it's all here. And you can have a lovely weekend quietly browsing the galleries. We've got um, a Hicks branch as part of the weekend. And Hicks has got some very good uh, contemporary pieces. The opening of the galleries this weekend and they're sort of getting together in a lovely big sort of cooperative festival atmosphere is a fantastic way to bring people to different sorts of galleries. Some galleries have shop windows on the street, many of them don't. Well, I hope that we're more accessible than people think we are. There's not this sort of velvet curtain and the sort of awful old Harridan inside uh, scaring you out of the gallery. We're very accessible and very happy to talk about these pictures, which we love. It's our, it's our livelihood, and, but more important, it's, it's the things we love most in life. What I thought I would use this opportunity to do is just tell you about a picture that we discovered three or four weeks ago. She was drop dead gorgeous in 18th century terms. And it's this lady here, who, who to some of you will need no introduction. In fact, I've already alluded indirectly to her by mentioning the name Horatio Nelson, because this is a portrait of Emma Hamilton. For those galleries like mine, which we, where we specialise in living artists, um, you, you've got, the public got to understand that we're in show business as well, in a way. The artists who are, who are often locked away in their studios for 18 months, working in solitude for, for many of them, it's lovely to be out there and showing their work to new people, to an audience that is responsive, whether it's good or bad, or whether they buy or they don't buy, it doesn't matter. So it's interesting in London now that there are more people who go to um, art galleries than there are to football matches, interesting statistic, and galleries offer that to the public, they're free access spaces and places where you can learn a huge amount from experts. This weekend was just a fantastic experience, this talk was absolutely fabulous. I think this is a, quite a great opportunity to have um, people who have no, no knowledge of art who were beginning. We feel part of the art scene and we want to be part of the art scene and we want to encourage, Westminster has been marvellous in, in, in trying to encourage galleries to stay here and it would be sad if we lost our galleries which are so important for London and um, for the tourist industry. Mm -hmm.